Hope you are doing great at your place. You are safe, healthy and strong. Today we are going to continue with our rental income calculation or say tax, uh, tax schedule or employment section or uh, income calculations or rental income calculations from the tax return schedule E. Tax return schedule E. Schedule prices that means schedule E part 1. Because rental income plus royalty income, we will not be going through royalty income because if we once if we know how to calculate rental income, it will be very easy to you know go through the royalties income, how to calculate royalties income. We might uh, you know get to know that later. But as of now, we will focus only on the schedule E. Right? Okay. Now. The question is, is the only tax return schedule E from uh, the document that required to calculate the income or to calculate the rental income or there are other forms as well? Yes, obviously there are other forms. Well. What are those forms? There, there is a lease agreement, right? Lease agreement. Lease agreement and there is a FENIMI form number. FENIMI. Form number 1007. Remember? And there is or or there is another form that is that we call FENIMI form number 1025. Right? These are the part of appraisal, but still our oh, income can be calculated from these forms as well, right? Plus Lease agreement or say rental agreement. Lease agreement, rental yes. agreement. Yes. How to calculate income? We will only be either calculating income from any of the, this form or only the, from the tax return. Right? Now, whenever we will be calculating, uh, considering income from these forms, how to calculate income? What is the percentage that we are going to con you know consider that we will discuss later. But first we will go through the tax return how to calculate income from tax return schedule E. Right? And what are what are those incomes or what are those scenarios where we can consider income from these and what, what is the scenario where we can only consider income from the tax return. So Whenever we have income given on tax return schedule, we are good to consider it from there, right? But there are few different scenarios in the different loans where we can go or we can consider these in forms as well to calculate or to consider rental income. Income. What are those scenarios? Like purchase, you know, if someone is purchasing a property, like it's it's a purchase, so obviously property is being purchased or I am, if I am a borrower then I am going to purchase it. It is not mine. So obviously that income or that rental income won't be appearing on the tax return. But property was not mine, right? Right? I am about to purchase that property. But if I need to consider a rent, you know, if I am purchasing that property as my investment property and I want to use whatever the rental income will be coming in the future from that property, right? So I can use that rental income for my qualifying purpose. Then I can go for, for lease agreement or penny form number 0107 or 1025. We'll, we'll discuss more on that later. Now there is another scenario and that is what? Yes, property may have been purchased like in the very recent year. Last year, like in 2020, maybe in the October or December or November, at almost towards the end of the last year, right, last tax year, recent tax year, if the property has been only purchased in the very recent tax year, then in that case, we can go for any of the form, whatever the available. Mostly we will go for the lease agreement, but if lease agreement is not there, we might go for the penny form, right? We'll discuss again that later. But and and there is another scenario where we can again go for the instead of going for tax return, we can go for that. Like if borrower is able to justify that why should go for lease agreement or this this form instead of the tax return. Like 
it loan is a refinance but borrower was not able to file tax returns or or was not able to discuss his rental in or disclose borrower was not able to disclose his rental income in the previous year tax returns he need to give us a valid justification if he can justify yes we can go for the lease agreement as well the previous 2 years lease agreement we can consider the income from there how to calculate income from lease agreement we'll we'll see that later let's go back to the tax returns part one what is the tax return schedule e and how to calculate income i'm sure you must have got the form number 1038 you know what is this form it's a fanny me right again fanny me form number form number 1038 or 1038 this is the form number which could be used by anyone to calculate rental income right let's see what how this form looks like and how to calculate income in this form how to calculate income on what is this form all about how to calculate income on this form okay let's go to this form <laughs>